This is M+, Hong Kong's brand new museum of visual culture. Every corner of this place is well designed and so beautiful that will keep your eyes busy. This is Hong Kong Guy and we are going to show you everything about it. This is the inside of M+, this is the basement. So because this is a pre-opening, so people have to get in through the basement. See the people over there? Whoa! See the interior? It's beautiful. So actually, the, architect, the architecture inside or outside of this place is already an art form, so which is very worth to see. So right now, I was outside, I was checking out all those street uh, neon light signs display over there. So, it, so this place itself is already awesome. I can't wait to get in there. And this is the ground floor. And let's check out what we have here. Okay, for the ground floor, not only they have the shop here, you may be attracted by this gallery stuff, but don't forget to check out this one, the main hall gallery. And many people might get distracted. You see, people just go up to the elevator, but actually, this is the main hall. So you should check this out. This is one of the highlight of this place. So you can tell. Zhang Zhou Choi, the icon of Hong Kong graffiti in the 90s. Like when I was a kid, I saw this old man like doing graffiti on the street every day. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can still see the preserved graffiti in the Star Ferry, Kim Sa Choi, and also some other places in Hong Kong. Because this is the pre-opening, and the invited guests like, are related to art and all the museum thing and everybody dressed up and the atmosphere here is so good like everybody really like focus on checking out this place except me so this is I, I, that makes me love this place like right right away so after checking out the main hall main gallery from the ground floor we can go up to the first floor. So obviously, this building uh, is quite tall. It's more than uh, three floors, but actually it has 18 floors. And for the main galleries, they have the ground floor. This is ground floor, and we are going to the first floor. And there should be more a gallery upstairs. And uh, for the third floor, is a roof garden that is not open yet. So this is the first floor. They have different galleries, the east, the south, the west, but I don't find the north gallery, but they have focus gallery. This is the east gallery, you can see the uh, Anita Mui, Hong Kong diva in the 80s and 90s. So that should mean it shows the stuff about the east. And you can see the east and uh, another east gallery over there. This might look small to you. It looks small to me from the outside, but don't underestimate this place because I just visited South Gallery. It was so big. I thought like this, I came in here and it went all the way, go, 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 go up. And then came out, it told me, like we're just walking like six, seven, eight minutes. And it was so huge. And I, I thought I was lost. And once I came out, I am still, I just, got out from the South Gallery. So it's, this place is huge. And now I'm visiting the East Gallery. It shows the beauty of Hong Kong and I'm guessing they are showing the golden era of Hong Kong in the 80s and 90s. It is so interesting that like these kind of furniture, they all look futuristic to me, but they're all designed the last century. Yeah. So this place has so many displays and I'm not gonna introduce one by one so of course that's the fun of the museum so you discover what you like and 
what inspire you by yourself. So um, this place, I, of course, I love this place the most because this represents the 80s. I was born in the 80s, so this represents the golden era of Hong Kong in the 80s and 90s. And it's surprisingly, the designs from this era, they're so postmodern and so futuristic. And even though when I see it now, I don't feel that it's outdated or old. You know, I think that's the fun and that's the, the value that it should be shown in here. My phone filming other phones that's very artistic. They have this kind of workshop so that you can join and make some art and something like this. Oh, it's good for the kids. Oh, great for the kids. So this is the Ampla shop. I think the Ampler shop is pretty much like the, the whole Ampler's place. It's like your eyes are so busy that guess everything is beautiful, everything is so attractive, eye catching, and then you have to keep looking, looking everything. It looks nice, very well designed. You know, let's see this top back. Um, so that's pretty much the impression and the feeling of visiting this place. I mean, the whole Ampler's museum. So everything is like well designed, you know. Like if you want to check this out, like it might take you a whole day. I hope you enjoy this place. And this is pretty much about my video about uh, M Plus. And please hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it if you love our video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. There is one more thing on the ground floor. There is a really nice podium that you can check out the most beautiful scene in Hong Kong See, whoa. this is super awesome this is the best display of the M Plus Museum